Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do what I wore in a week, fall fashion edition, or at least very early fall. So let's hop into Monday. Today I'm keeping it very easy. I'm just doing some coaching calls from home because yes, in case you guys didn't know, I don't feel like I've ever talked about it on YouTube before, but I have become a life coach as well. I got my certification and training in it and I do that too. So if you're ever interested, I will leave that linked down below. But I'm very comfortable today because it's all about the Zoom sessions and I'm gonna be talking to my Rise Through Style members later for their live Q&A because we do that every month as well. So name of the game is Comfy and Casual. So I'm wearing this beautiful top by Norma Kamali and I just love it. It's just this beautiful, yummy, light tan. It's really nice and warm. It's got a bodysuit material almost, which I really love. And what's different about it is this beautiful sort of subtle off the shoulder and a little ruching around the shoulder, which I thought was really like very pretty, like a nice simple classic, but with a twist. I love basics with a twist. I think this is really, really beautiful. And then to offset it, I chose some chunky earrings. I love the hammered gold of these. I think they're absolutely spectacular. I really love them. I just, I love that chunky jewelry is back for fall. You guys know I love my statement jewelry anyway, but here we are. I'm now having a full on love affair because it's also on trend. <laughs> I'm wearing this bracelet that has just like some gold links in it. I sort of thought it played off the roundness a little bit of the top portion of this drop earring. And then I have this stunning ring that I've had for quite a few years. It's from Chloe, but I love a good like jangly kind of ring. So fun. And I thought that just added a little fun to the outfit. And then to keep it casual, I've just got on these straight leg jeans. These are from Zara, I believe. And I love that the rips are around the knee. Great for us that are a little bit curvier in the thigh, because the detail's down below. And then I've just got, oh, Charlie. Hi, baby. I need some. Yeah, you want to be in the vlog too? So nice. <laughs> so Charlie is showcasing my brown boots. Love them. And that's it for today. Just kept like the makeup and everything else nice and neutral, nice and classic for the day. And here we are, off for the work day, happy Monday. Hello, hello, happy Tuesday, I'm back. And I'm like more casual today. I'm very, very casual, but definitely more colorful. I know sometimes my color combinations freak you guys out, but here we are. I am going to be running some errands today, but otherwise am home. I'm gonna be doing some online personal shopping for my clients getting some stuff ready for my Rise Through Style for their October theme. It's gonna be really cool. We're gonna be doing a lot of makeup trends and hair and skincare and all that sort of stuff. We've got some experts coming in this month in that field because that is definitely not my wheelhouse. And it's just going to be the best, the best, the best. So, I just thought it'd be comfy casual. I was craving a little color. So, to start off, I started my outfit with this Led Zeppelin graphic tee. I absolutely love the color story in it. It's similar to one of my other graphic tees that I've got and I personally love graphic tees with a lot of color because the outfit combinations are endless just in terms of color combos because you guys know I love love a good colored moment. So I fell in love with this. This is my newer like graphic tee that I picked up to offset sort of the grungier kind of look for it because it's too warm to wear a jacket still here. I wanted to offset it with this large oversized jewelry. I love this chain necklace. This is from Dylan Lex. Same with this Capricorn charm, also from Dylan Lex. Any Capricorns out there? Hello. <laughs> and uh, I just love the vibe of that slight layering. I thought it looked really good. I've also got a couple of bracelets on my wrist. I don't know if you really see one. It has like a little black, cute little pendant on it. And the other one is a chain with like a little bit of crystals in it. Both are from Green Bijou. You guys know I love Trisha's stuff. She makes the best stuff. And I love just the add of something a little bit more delicate since I had such chunky stuff on around my neck. I wanted to tone it down a little bit. And then the rest of my outfit I have on these fantastic red trousers. I just love picking up the warm color story that was in this shirt. And because I'm just going to be running around doing the thing and I feel like there's not many rules I have with style, but for me personally, I don't like seeing sandals after September 1st. Something about it, like in my mind, I'm like, I'm ready for fall. Like, let's move on. Even though I know that's not the case for a lot of climates. So I personally like to wear more closed toed options for footwear. And so with these red pants, I've got on these fantastic Chanel combat boots that I picked up, was it last year? Year before, I'm losing time. Aren't we all these days? Like everything just kind of feels like Groundhog Day. But uh, here we are. 
red pants, combat boot, and then I've got this fringy bag. You guys ask about this all the time. I bought it years ago at H&M, but I'll see if I can find any dupes and link it down below. But I love, like, dark black fringe on the pleather bag. I just feel like it adds a little bit of attitude and I'm feeling it. You guys know I don't wear like black or dark colors a lot. So this one's been my ride or die along with one Chanel bag that I've had for years and that's all I need. And I love it. I mean, cause pleather bags, not vegan leather, best marketing trick ever. Let's just call it what it is. It's pleather, plastic is just, it's cool. It's so durable, which is fantastic. And $20 bag, it was fantastic. I got it at an H&M media party years ago and it's I've been having a love affair ever since. So anyway, rambling, here's the vibe for today. Loving it, nice and casual, comfy, and I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, beautiful angels, happy Wednesday. I don't know why my lighting's not so great here. I am hanging out at home today. I've got some lives that I'm doing with my Rise Through Style. We're doing some Shop Your Closet sessions because we do those on the regular with the members in case any of you are interested. So much fun. Love peering into everyone's closets and helping them with it. It's so fun. So just super casual. I don't have a bag with today's outfit for that reason. I'm not going anywhere. So what I'm wearing today is fairly easy. I've got these yummy chocolate pants on. These were from H&M, I believe. And uh, I've just got them cuffed at the bottom. I'm wearing some loafers on today. I love the sort of English prep feel that's come in for fall, which is very much what I'm leading into with today's outfit. And because I was wearing the navy shoes, I was really kind of crushing on navy to be honest. So I opted for this very simple navy t-shirt. I've had it for a thousand years. Not actually, obviously, but just really nice and comfortable. Just a very easy, easy tee. And then I am wearing this stunning blazer that I've had for quite a few years. You guys are probably sick of seeing it, but it's from Theory. I really love it. And it's got this fantastic color story in it. That's this chocolate brown, gold, sort of like a grayish color and navy as well. And I just think it's so perfect for the fall time. I also love like the beautiful structured shoulders. And then I am wearing my Capricorn necklace. I think I had it on a few days ago, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I didn't, <laughs> I can't remember. And this Dylan Lex ring, cause you guys know I just love their stuff. Ooh, there's like a fluff attached to it. Anyway, we'll ignore that, but there we are. <laughs> So here we are, easy Wednesday, nice casual outfit, and I'm ready for the day. Hello beautiful souls, another day, another outfit. I'm wearing this one that's got some color, because of course you guys know, love that. So today I'm rocking this blouse that was from Zara. It's a new piece of mine, but I'm obsessed. And I will ride this till the wheels fall off because I love the shearing of this blouse and I love the color combination. I just, the blue and the salmon and the brown and that little hint of black just really speaks to my soul. And you guys know I stick to my color palette so that little hint of like black within my colors just felt moody enough for fall for me, which I really love. I've got some layered necklaces here just to edge it up slightly. I don't know, it just felt like not enough with this necklace and I wasn't feeling oversized earrings today, like I just left my ears bare. Well, I was really feeling this sort of chunky, sort of masculine feel against the floral. It was just my vibe for the day. I uh, curled my hair and then I'm wearing these fabulous high-waisted cropped jeans. It's got a little bit of a fray at the bottom, which I thought was a really beautiful touch. And of course you can see my shoes as well. Love these. It's got a orange tone to them and I love that slight eggplant toe. And uh, I love that how it sort of played off the orangey salmon that's in this blouse. I just thought it was really, really pretty. And I love a good color blocking, even though it's not exact, like exact shades, it's close enough for me. And then to keep playing on these shots of color, I grabbed this bag from Stowed, which I thought was just a nice little fun shoulder bag addition. And I'm off to my book club actually. <laughs> so hanging with the ladies tonight. Thought this was nice and fun, cute and casual. And I'm off. See you tomorrow. Hello beautiful friends. Another day, another outfit coming at you. This one a little bit feeling very fall today actually for me. Didn't feel like putting contacts in today so I'm rocking these glasses which I gotta say I'm dying for. I just I really really love them and uh, yeah just didn't want the contacts today and I kind of paired a lip that was very similar to the brown sort of tortoise frame or tortoise shell like coloring in the frame in my lipstick which I really love. I have layered up a few necklaces. One has this, it's like a choker style bling necklace and has this sort of drop in the middle which I thought was cute. I actually like how it kind of disappears into the t-shirt to me it gives a little bit of a sexy feel. 
And then I've got this necklace on top that I also really love. You guys have seen this a few times. This is from Dylan Lex. I just, I love their stuff. Drew that designs the that brand just does such a gorgeous, gorgeous job. She's so talented. On top, I am wearing some cropped jeans you guys saw earlier and uh, just a basic tee. I love starting with good basic classics when you're creating an outfit. Keeps it nice and easy. And then something that is a timeless staple for fall is a printed jacket in like a black brown and I love that this both picks up the black in the denim and that's why I also paired it with my Bottega. I haven't put stuff in it yet. I'm about to head out the door but I'm going to bring my Bottega clutch and it picks up on the lighter print, a uh, lighter tan that's in this jacket. I don't know if that's going to pick up appropriately and then just paired it with some black booties. These are from Jean Vito Rossi. So comfortable. Uh, I picked these up one or two years ago now. I can't remember and just such a lifesaver. I really, really love them. But I am feeling this look, just so comfortable and uh, classic enough, but still in like the modern silhouette that's happening at the time. And this is one of the things I recommend to all of you is that, you know, you can still get those beautiful classics, but get something that's in a slight twist for the season and it will ensure the longevity of that item, which is really, really cool. Oh, and then look, little elbow pads. I love that. <laughs> I love the little suede patches on the jacket. So freaking cute. Okay, sending you guys much love. See you tomorrow. Happy Saturday. I'm all dolled up today. Not my normal Saturday attire, but I have Paula's son's first communion today. And so we're going to go celebrate him. So we're getting all dressed up for the day. So I am wearing a beautiful long white dress that has this gorgeous... I don't know if you would call this like pleating or slight ruching. The Empire Waistline is beautiful. It's by Victoria Beckham. Found it from the Outnet. Highly recommend going to look at that store. If you haven't, it's great for designer pieces, like beautiful quality pieces at a fraction of the price. I just love it. Not an ad for them. I just <laughs> really adore it. I am wearing my Bottega Clutch. I went very like classic and neutral today. I feel like it's appropriate for church just to go a little bit more elegant and understated. I kept my bangle very simple and geometric. It's an old find. I don't remember where I got that. And these goodies that you guys have seen, God knows how long. These were from Aldo years ago, but I did find a dupe that are identical. So I'll leave those linked down below for you guys. And then some beautiful Louboutin heels. I believe these were called the J-strap, but they are quite a few years old, but they're one of my favorites. I just feel like very ladies who lunch in them. <laughs> So I felt that the whole outfit was very appropriate for today's occasion. So nice and simple, very elegant and feminine, and I'll see you tomorrow. Hello beautiful souls, happy Sunday. I am bare face because it's Sunday, and one day of the week I always have a bare face because I A, could not be bothered, B, I want my skin to breathe, and hashtag real life. <laughs> so just nice, clean face for the day today. And my outfit obviously reflects that it's Sunday. Sean and I are just running errands like groceries and all that kind of stuff. So the whole look is casual, but I still feel cute because this is just something that makes me mentally feel better. I just like getting dressed for myself, you guys know that. So what I'm wearing is just some stacked necklaces. One used to be my mom's, it's just a teeny diamond necklace. For those of you that have been on my channel for a really long time, you guys know I wear something of hers absolutely every single day since she's passed. It's just what makes me feel close to her every day. I have my Christy necklace on. This was actually made by Pat Fields before she closed her store. I don't think it's around anymore. I just love it because it mimics the Carrie necklace. So cool. And then I have this necklace on that is two crosses. I don't know that the little pendants are going to show up properly, but this one's from Trisha at Green Bijou. I put two little charms on it. I just love it. I think it's cute and uh, I believe in God. So I love that on a Sunday I'm wearing my crosses as well. Uh, okay. And then I have a chain bracelet here also from Green Bijou. You guys know I love Trisha's stuff. And then I've just got some simple studs on to keep it clean and easy. And then I am wearing a basic blue tee. You guys know i got to keep it colorful. That's just how I roll. And uh, just nice simple tee. It's what makes me feel good. Nice and easy. Great for like running around doing errands, all that kind of stuff. And then I tucked it, or half tucked it I should say, into a pair of high-waisted straight leg jeans with a little bit of a rip. And then I've just got these cute little flats on. I actually picked these up from Zara. But how adorable are these? Like so, so cute. They have like a bit of a Manolo feel, if you will, that they're kind of borrowing from, but I just love the little bit of color blocking, you know? 
you know? <laughs> and then uh, I just went out for a run as well. So apologize if my face is a little bit red still. I've showered and whatnot, but it wasn't a like wash your hair kind of day. So we've just slicked it back with some dry shampoo and left it in the ponytail that it was I was running in. And here we are. So easy breezy Sunday. And of course, if any of you want help, if you're sick of feeling like maybe you're not motivated to get dressed every day, if you're not sure what's dated, what's not, you want to learn how to actually dress yourself, feel motivated to dress yourself, finally like get a grip on your style, I'd love to have you in Rides Through Style. This is my community of women where we go through the A to Z of style. The registration is not normally open. I close it and I've just opened it for the last time of the year. And we're gonna be diving into like personality styling, like your personality and how that actually weaves itself into your style, how to figure out what that is because you'll get all the details for that. We have guest experts coming in that are professional hair artists, makeup artists. They're going to be talking about how that influences your outfit and your style and going to give you lots of tips for that as well. We have so many like delicious goodies coming up and live Shop Your Closet sessions and of course Q&As with me. All of our trainings are live and you get to hang out with me as well. We all get to hang out together and it's a lot of fun. So if you are interested in this, again, this is the last time it's going to be open for this year. So I'm going to leave the link down below and you can come join us and check it out. And other than that, I'm sending you much love and I will catch you again in the next video. Bye.